Welcome to the channel. So today's video is a little different because this product has been discontinued. So you can't buy it from Monoprice anymore. Now I got mine on a fire sale. It was super cheap and I needed a fully enclosed printer to print some ABS that I'm going to be doing for some upcoming printer builds. So stay tuned for those. But like I said, I got mine really cheap. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and get it because it fit my needs. And like I said, I wasn't going to do a review of this simply for the fact that it's discontinued. But the more I used it, the more I liked it. So I'll just go ahead and tell you that I really like this printer. And, you know, I thought, okay, well, let's go ahead and do a review because other people might be in the same boat that I am where they got it really cheap or, you know, you pick it up off of eBay or something like that. And like I said, I, I just really liked this printer. So I wanted to go ahead and do a little review of it. Now it's a standard, you know, FDM printer. Um, the good thing about it is that it's all on linear rods. So it's motion system is really good. It has a couple of flaws in it and I'll go over those as we get into the printer itself. Um, you know, the biggest flaw is that it's just, it seems like it's old. You know, um, some of the technologies used here seem old. And, you know, I mean, it came out like four years ago. So that's probably the case. But anyway, like I said, it, I really like this printer. Um, I like a bunch of its features. Um, I like its size. But let's go ahead and move on into you know, some of the design of the printer. And we'll talk about, like I said, some of the shortcomings with the printer and um, some of the good things about the printer. All right, so let's get to it. This is the firmware. Normally I like to show the main board, but it's way embedded in this one. But if you saw the cadet video I did, it's pretty much the same thing. This is a different board, but it's designed basically the same. Anyway, it's a very pared down version of Marlin 1. This is 119 actually. Their version of it is 228, which is the latest version that Monoprice put out for this. You can get the source for this and you can recompile it if you want. I'm going to build a custom version of Marlin, so stay tuned for that later on. This is the bed. It is a glass bed, but it's just a plain glass bed, and so there's masking tape on it for adhesion. There are no screws to adjust it. And as you can see, it's held on with uh, linear rods and a single lead screw. But the bed itself is really tight. There's not a lot of wiggle at all, if any. So it's a good stable platform. So this is the underside of the bed. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but there are little nuts here instead of adjustment knobs. And you know, it's, it's a stationary bed. I'm not sure why they did it this way. Um, there are springs under the bed, but you know, mine was leveled from the factory. Um, I had read that some were getting beds that were not level, but you can adjust this, you know, uh, it is adjustable. You just have to do it with a socket or a wrench. It's 5.5 millimeters. And then you just turn it down. It'll compress that spring and level it out. Like I said, I haven't had any problems here. It, it works really well, actually. You know, I get crazy, crazy adhesion um, using PLA. I haven't tried ABS yet. Um, but again, just come in here if you have to and turn that screw, turn the nut and level it out. And like I said, it'll compress that spring. So here's a view of the hot end. Uh, it's kind of old school as it has that cap and tape on it. It's kind of, uh, it's a standard nozzle. It's kind of an interesting design. There's a screw here. You remove this screw or you back it out and the whole hot end just pulls down. Uh, it's very interesting. Here's your probe. It's all automatic leveling. You know, I, like I said, the, part of the problem with this printer is that it just seems old. You know, this would be a silicone sock now. Um, which I might try and replace it later on. I don't I haven't had any problems with it, so I'll just leave it as it is. 
but later on I might fit one. Here's a view of the hot end from the top. This is your parts cooling fan. It's a 5015. It's a nice big beefy fan. There are um, nozzles on both sides of the hot end. This is your main connector to the extruder, the hot end, everything. So it's all really nice and neat. Um, they did a great job on the wiring here. This is a view from the top of the motion system. As you can see, it's all linear rod based. So make sure you loop these up before you actually use the printer. They did a great job on the wiring. As you can see, you know, it's just a single ribbon cable and it is a direct drive extruder and your filament comes out of this little Bowden tube over here from your filament runout sensor. This is one of the things I like about this printer that this spool is actually internal. And there's this clip right here, which snaps into the housing. It's all metal and you have to remove it in order to get these one kilogram spools in here. Smaller ones you don't, but the filament runs up to your runout sensor located here and then just keeps on going up to the hot end. It's really nice and clean, I think. So moving on to some prints. This is the Benchy that is on the SD card you know, that's included. So this is all pre-sliced. And this is actually using the filament that came with the printer, which is this uh, very white, almost translucent style filament. But let's see how it does. Okay, so here's our Benchy, and they put rafts on this stuff, all of their prints. Like I said, I get crazy adhesion. Uh, it's, it's difficult to remove it with this masking tape. And the, like I said, it's just crazy, crazy adhesion. We'll get it off here in a second. Maybe. Trying not to rip the tape. Like I said, it's crazy adhesion. Everything sticks so well. All right, there we go. Little bubble. The joys of printing with masking tape. All right, so here's our Benchy. I mean, it, it looks really good. Really good. Uh, this filament is, it's like I said, it's almost transparent but it looks really nice. It's a really, really nice Benchy. You know, aside from being able to almost see through the filament. So we'll, we'll try custom colors. But like I said, it looks really good, really good. No complaints here, a little bit of stringing. You can see that right there. Moving on. So this is our second print and I don't think you could have a Chinese printer without printing the Chinese Lucky Cat. Let's see how it does. Okay, here's our cat, and I can tell you from here he looks fantastic, but he is super glued to this bed. Let's see if we can get him off of here without tearing. Like I said before, you get crazy, crazy adhesion here. I might need to raise my NC offset a little bit because everything is sticking so well. But you know, this masking tape isn't super durable, so I'm trying not to tear it. It's kind of a pain to pull the bed out and redo the masking tape. Oh, there we go, we popped right off the raft. All right, let's take a look at this guy. He looks fantastic. If you see my other videos, I really like them in this purple. 
a couple little things there on the paw. Everything else looks great. I, I really like this printer. It, it prints super well. Super well. Like I said, there's a little bit under his paw, but other than that, he looks fantastic. All right, here is our next print off the SD card, which is a bathtub boat. Let's see how it turns out. I've never seen this model before and it just turned out fantastic. Um, it is glued again to the bed like they all are. I really think I might need to raise my Z offset or something because things just sticking way too well to this masking tape. Way too well. And again, I'm trying not to rip this masking tape because it, it's so easy to rip it. Let's see what we get. It's coming. I mean, it is just glued to this bed. Come on. Oh, well, there you go. We will be replacing that. The joys of masking tape. That's okay, let's just get this wrapped off. I mean, this thing just looks fantastic. Fantastic. Wow. A little bit of stringing right there. Wow. I mean, this is just awesome. There's a little bit, but it's just awesome. Amazing print. I mean, just amazing. And I, uh, again, I, I can't say enough how much I like this printer. A little bit of filament there, we can pull it off. But this thing just turned out fantastic. Again, uh, this this is the problem with this, you know, this masking tape. And it's just plain glass, so I mean, you probably print PLA on it, but you probably wouldn't want to print anything else on it. You probably want to put some glue or something on there if you're going to do something stronger, like ABS or PETG or something. I don't know, but I'm tired of replacing this masking tape. So now we're in Prusa Slicer 2.6. I wanted to try out the organic supports in here, so here's a little Yoshi model. Um, you know, none of the modern slicers, Cura or Prusa Slicer or Orca Slicer or Super Slicer or, or any of those actually have a profile for uh, this printer. So I had to create one. And I mean, you know, it's, it's not that difficult to create a printer uh, profile. But here's my start G code. I'm not sure if you can see it uh, well enough to actually copy what's in it. But I will post the start and ng codes up on um, my github page so that you can create your own if you want to here's the ng code now keep in mind this is for firmware 2.2.8 if you're running something different you might need different start and ng codes you know so just keep that in mind that this is what works for my printer um, yours might act a little bit differently than mine does depending you know I don't know if they had different revisions of this thing or not so just keep that in mind and again it's version 228 firmware 228 if you're running 16 or 201 it might not work but anyway back to Yoshi so we will slice this guy up and see how he does so here's the actual print of Yoshi
Okay, so Yoshi is done. Let's see if we can pull him off of here. I don't have a raft, so I was hoping that this would be a little easier to remove. And it it's not. Um, like I said, I, I just get crazy, crazy, crazy adhesion on this thing. There we go. Little bubble. All right, let's see how we did. You know, I, I haven't played around with these organic supports, so I really wanted to try it out and see how they did. Um, I mean, they were removed super easy. Um, I'm not so sure that I have my interface set right. Because, yeah, you can see under his hand, it looks kind of bad. Yeah, under his other hand, it looks kind of bad. So I'm going to need to adjust these. Let's see under his chin. Yeah, that looks kind of bad, too. But that's, you know, that's more of my setup for the actual supports. Uh, like I said, this is the first time I've tried using them. I haven't tuned to them yet, so this is my first print. But they, they come off super easy, that's for sure. Um, but they're, they're not really doing what supports need to do. Other than that, though, I mean, I think he looks really good. Um, you can see where the supports were. That doesn't look so good. So that'll need to be... You know, tuned out but again that's that's more me than the printer overall though I think he's a good-looking Yoshi uh, his hands look kind of bad but again that's the support all in all though I'll take it I mean he does look pretty good okay okay final thoughts well, you know, like I said at the start of this, I really, really like this printer. I think it prints fantastic, um, you know, especially with no tuning or anything like that. And then once we get some tuning into it, it'll print even better. I like the fact that it's all linear rods. I like the fact that it's a metal enclosure. I like the fact that it's a smaller form factor. You know, it's 200 by 150. Uh, it's portable. You know, I can take it, put it in my garage, print my ABS, do all that fun stuff. Uh, fantastic love it the downside is that all of the gantry system you know that actually holds the gantry together is made out of plastic and I've heard some horror stories about that plastic actually becoming brittle over time and then breaking so that's something for me to watch out for but luckily there are some people who have made models for you to reprint those because I don't know if I can get them from mono price I mean it is under warranty I got a one-year warranty because it was brand new when I bought it but now that it's discontinued, it might be difficult getting some of those parts. So, if you liked this video and you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, happy printing.